All right, so windy freezing seas. Another water level, that's for sure. I don't know. I've never been a, fawn, a fan of water levels. I was going to say I wasn't fond and fan at the same time. I don't know. I have problems with that. I say that I say a lot of words together a lot and I get them mixed up and I mix them together. Um, but I'm not a really big fan of water levels. I've never been a fan of water levels ever since I played Mario 3 and I got to the water world. I don't know. I'm not saying that's the reason why I hate them. I've just never been a big fan of them. Do I like worlds that space on the beach? Yeah, that's that's a cool, you know, they, you know, it's a good setting. Some companies make good beach areas. Beach worlds, it's pretty cool, but I'm not really a fan of water. And I was born in Hawaii on an island surrounded by water. I guess I'm not saying I don't like water levels because I don't like water in real life or I'm afraid of water, but I guess you could say I just don't like how it looks at me, if that makes any sense. I don't, it's, uh, see, this is why I'm not good at commentary, because I say weird stuff, but like, I, I guess what I mean by that, and how I don't like how it looks at me is like, I'm not afraid of the water itself, I'm afraid of what's in it, I guess you could say. Like, I'm afraid of the stuff that lurk inside of it, and that something could just happen oh hey look they're sleeping it's their little cave okay you know what i'm not gonna hurt them that's cute but um yeah like i don't know like i'm not saying like oh sh a shark will always come and get you in the water it's like no that's not a thing like yeah sharks exist but they're not gonna come for you intentionally unless they're hungry i don't know but like i guess it would be the fear of the unknown i don't know if that's a good way to put it but it's the best way I can explain it. Like, when you're at the beach, do you, like, do you ever find yourself going that far out into the ocean? Because I know, I know I don't ever go far out enough to where I can't feel the ground. Like, I, I can't, I can't do that. I'm sorry. It's too, I don't know. It's just, it's weird. And I also was on a, I was on a Hawaiian paddling team, so like canoeing, and we used to paddle in Washington, which is where I, which is where I used to live. Um, we used to paddle in the Puget Sound, and that's where like killer whales were, and orcas, I think, as well, or vice versa, switch them around. Orcas were there, killer whales might have been there. I don't know. Um, but we we used to paddle in a place where there was a creature 10 times our size there and they could just pop up at any any moment at any moment like and it used to freak me out a lot because like at any moment my boat our boat my team's boat could have just you know flipped over would have been it you know in the freezing cold water your body tenses up you can't move a lot and you gotta wait for anyone else to come by and try and help you flip your boat back over so yeah just thought I could uh, talk about that something for me to say a good way to have discussion I guess have a little commentary with my videos because I need that if I'm gonna do let's plays I mean if I think about it I could just do no commentary walk through let's plays but like What's the point in that? I mean, I already don't get any views on my normal Let's Plays, so what's the point? You know? But, that's not the point. Because, I just like doing this for fun. It also lets me play video games, so... You know, that's a plus. Especially since I hate my job and... Some, quote unquote, some of the people at the current job I work at. So, yeah. Uh, I work at, I'm not going to say what place I work at. I'm just going to say that I work in the food industry. 
So I work with food. I work in the fast food department. So, I will leave it at that. And I really wish I could just make this my job. Because, again, it's not considered a job if you love every day of it. Oh, we got another schematic. Dragon Fire Blueprint. Oh, okay, cool. We found the third up upgrade. Or, I guess second upgrade. It's the third version of it. But, we only upgraded it to that. It's our second one. There you go. Alright, what's over here? Secrets. Oh, okay. Jump into the secret underground room. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so I have to inhale. Go up here. Do that. Go over here. There you go. Well, not bad. Alright, I missed one of the Waddledees. And I feel like I'm already at the end of the stage. Something tells me. Yeah, I am. They're all the way in the back up there. No, no. What I do... Is inhale this, do this, do this. Alrighty. Alright. That stage was very annoying. Alright, I got the three secret ones at least, so I have to come back and get the normal one I have to find, so. Not bad. Alright. So, the title of the next stage is just proving my point that this place was torn by war. Because nothing is titled like this unless it's like an actual war. The Battle of Blizzard Bridge? I don't know. It's probably just me speculating again. Me sounding weird, me sounding crazy. Me sounding stupid, but I love, like... I should reword this, I shouldn't say I love war, but uh, I like games that are based around war, so like I love the Medal of Honor games, I love the Call of Duty games, especially the World War uh, versions of them, so the Medal of Honor, like, uh, was it Frontline, then we have like Call of Duty, Vanguard, World War II, the World at War, all the stuff that involves the like the World War II and World War One stuff, I love. Uh, I'm just a very big military history guy, so every like hearing the title of this stage is just like this has to be a place that was torn by war. Like nobody, nobody's ever titled something the Battle of insert name here for like no reason. Like the whole reason was because you know we were at war and the battle took place there, so like. Something happened, dude. There's there's lore in this game. There's lore. There's actual Kirby lore. So. Just saying. It's a thing. And whether I figure it out after beating this game or not. It's it's here. Alright, what's... It, I mean, I'm already proving it. What's stronger, the gun or the sword? It's obviously the gun. Gun always wins. Guns always win. Let's go. Gotta love guns, dude. Love them. Oh, I think I needed that. 
Yep, I needed that. Oh, I could have screwed that up, huh? I didn't even notice that this platform was down here. I probably could have screwed that up and dropped the thing into the water.